we are your local election headquarters. Those campaign ads are coming hot and heavy on the airwaves, and there will be more as we approach Election Day. But are they true? Tonight, we look at the ads in the state house race that came down to a draw literally last time around. Then your side's Andy Fox joins us with tonight's Truth Tracker. Andy? Tom and Anita, we are tracking the truth in that race from 2017 where both candidates tied. Talk about the saying, your vote does count. Both candidates had 11,608 votes, a draw by chance to determine the winner, which was the incumbent Republican David Yancey. Yancey would pull the plug on our health care. David, are you for pulling the plug on health care? No, not at all. Democrat Shelley Simons ad claims delegate David Yancey voted four times against coverage for 400,000 Virginians. That is true. Yancey, like other General Assembly Republicans, voted against Medicaid expansion. Just think of all the hundreds of thousands of people that didn't qualify for health care, that needed health care over those years. You know, people were waiting uh, for health care that didn't get it because of his vote. What the ad doesn't tell you, Republicans voted against Medicaid expansion under former Governor Terry McAuliffe only because they thought safeguards were not in place to financially protect Virginia. We're a balanced budget amendment state, and we have to make certain that the money that comes in is the money that goes out and it's appropriated accordingly. That's needed for education, needed for health care, and all the other responsibilities the state of Virginia has to pay for. What is also true, when Governor Ralph Northam agreed to roll back Medicaid if and only if federal funding falls short, then Republicans, including Yancey, voted to expand Medicaid. We wanted to make certain that there was a responsible way to be able to pay for the Medicaid expansion in Virginia, and working with Governor Northam, we were able to find that path forward. I think it was a good deal all along. It would have saved Virginia hundreds of thousands of dollars every year to expand Medicaid. Yancey blasts Simons, a Newport News school board member, that she didn't advocate pay raises for Newport News teachers in May. He is not telling the truth. Truth Tracker finds it false for Yancey to suggest Simons doesn't support pay raises for teachers. Every single budget I have voted for teacher pay raises. She says what you've said here is false. I'm glad she's in favor of teacher pay raises and I wish she had gone down there and she had joined me to stand up in support of teachers. Yancey is referring to this May meeting where Yancey spoke before Newport News City Council to give teachers the raise. And he claims since Simons did not speak, she did not advocate for the raise. Yeah, maybe she didn't talk, but she helped pass the budget that got them the raise. I also helped to pass the budget that got them the raise, but I went down there and I stood up for the teachers. But I didn't need to stand up because the budget spoke for me. I had already voted for the teacher pay raise and our budget was being presented at that city council meeting. And on the back of that mail piece, it says, I think our teachers deserve a raise. Think they do? Shelley Simons doesn't. Again, this is not true. She's voted seven times for teacher raises as a member of the school board. The newly redrawn district favors Democrats and she had to move back into it after it was redrawn after the last election. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.